guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you all are having a great day. Today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial. And this is kind of going to be, well, it's kind of what I wear on a daily basis. I already have my foundation on, which is a mineral powder. I just did the video for the mineral foundation. Hopefully it came out. And I have my eyebrows on just to save some time, okay? So I am going to get started. And I think I will, sometimes I start with my eyes, sometimes I start with my face, it all depends. So today I think I'm just going to start with uh, my contour and my blush and since I have my eyebrows on and I will do my eyes last, okay? Um, I'm going to start with NYC, it's their uh, bronzing powder and uh, it's really nice and I've got my trusty little Christian Dior brush that's becoming famous. Uh, it's just a perfect, it's just a perfect brush, excuse me, oh look, hello Joelle. Hello, Joelle. <laughs> okay. All right. So now I'm going to uh, just um, take my brush, put it into my contour powder. What I like about this NYC is it doesn't pull real orange and it also uh, doesn't pull red. It's really a nice beige, uh, fleshy tone. It's really kind of nice. Let me hold it up so you can see it. But it's a nice contour. So I'm just going to place the brush like I did the other day in my tutorial and I'm just going to deposit that color right onto my cheek. I need a little bit more. I wasn't generous enough. And I always tap off. It just, you know, just give a little tap so you don't have that excess powder on there. And you want to stay right in this area where it meets the top of your ear. You, your bone will be right, your cheekbone is there. Right underneath that is where you want to go. I do both sides. Place the color. You can always go back and do more, so you know, that's why tapping off is a good idea. Okay, so I have my, I'm looking at my mirror, of course. So I'm going to not put any more on the brush, and I'm just going to dry the color. Notice I'm not coming down here again. When I'm going for my everyday look, I like to have a strong cheek, cheek uh, bone because um, although it will be a little bit more eyeshadow than I normally wear because for the, for the camera, I want you to be able to see it, um, my eyes are pretty neutral. I closed my bronzer. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go to this side and bring that color down and then just run it up. You can go right up into this part of your forehead. Same on this side. Don't apply any more to the brush though. If you need to tighten up your jawline a little, tap it off, and I mean really tap it off, pat it into the mirror, and then you're going to take it along the jawline, and really go with the shape of your jawline. Same thing, tap it off, touch the mirror, you don't want to have a big line here. That will help to sharpen up the jawline just slightly. Now I will take this and I will just go along and soften the line so that, you know, when I turn you don't just see that. Okay, so now for today I'm going to use Melba. Melba and Cantaloupe are my two go-to. They are both corals. One is just softer than the other. I'm just going to take, uh, I'm going to take a small, where is it? I'm going to take a MAC, oh, I think it's 123. I'm going to touch it into the blush, tap it off. I'm going to put this back into the, it's easier for me when I do that because then I can tap right on. Tap it off, and I'm going to place my blush high. I like it high on my cheek. I don't like it on the apples. It does not do justice for my face, however. Some people do like that look, and some people, it's okay, it looks good. It gives you that bright, fresh, just came in from outside look. So, I, But for me, I um, like to accentuate the high point of my jawbone to lift my face. I'm going to put a little bit more on, and I go side to side. A little bit more up in the high points, and then you can just feather it up over where you put that bronzer and then just soften that blush line. Okay. Alright, 
so now let's go in and do my that's it for my blush peeps <laughs> alright so now I'm going to go in and do my eyes I'm going to start with Brulee by MAC and I'm just going to take a where is that brush that I love so much okay I'm going to go in with Brulee let me move it in a little bit so you can actually see a little bit more okay I'm going to take Brulee I'll set my mirrors there I have my trusty little mirror I'm going to take uh, this wide brush by MAC. I'll put the name and number underneath. Uh, I'm just going to go in with Brulee by MAC. You can use Brulee by Wet n Wild. They're pretty much the same thing. Load the brush up, and I really load it up pretty good. I do a little tap, and then I'm going to just pat it on. I do have a primer on, and uh, it's Lorac. I'm going to put that on the whole eye. Just kind of my base. This is pretty much what I do every day, peeps. Go up and under the eyebrow. I really like to pack that color on. For one, I like to white out the darkness of my eyes. Okay, so loading that brush up for the other eye. Tapping it off. Packing it on. Get right up underneath that eyebrow so you get a nice sharp edge. Okay. Alright, so now I have a nice little foundation to work with. Make sure. Okay, then I'm just going to go in with a little fluffy brush and just make sure that it's blended there's no harsh lines even with light colors like this you want to make sure that you have no stop and go point okay all right I just dropped something let me get that okay now I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and I'm going to pick up bamboo bamboo is another one of my all-time favorites and I know this one is not discon uh, discontinued like Samoa silk is okay so um, here is bamboo, okay, and I'm going to show it to you next to soft brown because we'll be using both of them. Okay, soft brown is the one that has hit pan, and bamboo is the other. Bamboo is going to be like our breaking point color. It just helps to keep everything really blended nicely. Okay, so I'm going to go in, whoops, I switch, hang on. Okay, so I'm going to take bamboo, I'm going to load it up on a fluffy brush, and I really, bamboo's such a neutral shade, but it's okay, you're not going to really make a big mess. I'm going to just swirl it around on the upper part of my lid, just a little bit on this part, and I'm going to come up, and I'm bringing it all the way, almost right to the center, you can see that. Go in and get some more, don't be afraid of bamboo, it's, it's not, it doesn't have a whole lot of it's very neutral. It's not going to hurt you. And I do like to lift it up on the outer part of the eye just to give the eye the illusion of being lifted. Don't take it up to the brow though. Okay. Go up and load up some more. Cap it off lightly. And then down on the lid a little bit, not going all the way in, just right to the... This is uh, an all matte look today, and uh, matte eyeshadows are pretty much the only ones I can do an all matte. But uh, I may add a little shimmer. Sometimes I'll pop a little of arena someplace. It's another color I love so much. And I'm just doing the edge here. Nice trick to keep in mind when you are, if you hold your brush and you hold like this, that's where your shadow should stop, okay? Should not be dragging it down any more than that. Your shadow should stop here as an aging woman. Well, that's, that's true for any eye application. This is a good judge, just to put it like so. And that is where your eye shadow should stop, okay? It's the same when you're flaring your liner up. You don't want to flare that liner out. You want to work with the eyes and you want to work, your eye goes up. And then that's how you get that perfect cat, okay? All right, so I'm going to put a little bit more on. It's 
so that y'all can see it. What good's a tutorial if y'all can't see anything? But it is a very neutral look. Okay, so now I'm just going to sweep it back and forth. Same on this side. Lift it up a little right here. You can even run this underneath. It's so neutral. And then you have like a nice little canvas to work from. So now I'm going to take a, you know, this is a, uh, I think it's a Sonia Kasha, it might be an elf, I don't know. Uh, this brush here, see it's just a flat brush. I'm going to go in, I'm going to take soft brown. I'm going to tap it off because, you know, I'm loading it up pretty good and you will get a little fallout. I will have to use my mirror for this. I will come in. Oh, goodness. Look at that. Look what's on my face. Peeps, I don't know why you don't tell me these things. When I laid my brush down, it had shadow on it and it got on my face. Well, we're just going to overlook that. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to take this brush with the soft brown and I'm going to load the soft brown right into the crease pretty much. Halfway point. And I'm going to bring it down. I'm not really bringing this up and over the crease. I'm really just placing it in the crease area. Okay, so now I'm going to pick some up for the other side. I love soft brown. I really love all of the, you know, peachy browns. I, I hope this is pretty much the only plummy brown that I, I have. Okay, so this side, same thing. I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to run it just to the center. And I am going to lay it down a little bit in the corner here. Make sure they're even. It's pretty early, so I'm not sure about how good the lighting is going to be. Okay, then I'm going to take that brush. I'm going to turn it around so that, because I loaded up the one side of it, and I'm going to just run it underneath my eye just to deposit a little bit of color. You can go back and pick up more for this if you'd like. And I may have to, so I'm going to pick up a little bit of the soft brown. And I'm just going to apply it. You don't have to be real neat. Sometimes when you drop this down a little lower, it actually gives your eye a wider look. So I'm, I don't worry about them when they're real, real neutral shades. Okay, so there is that. Now I'm going to take that same fluffy brush I had before. And I'm just going to go over that soft brown. Always moving in with it and just blending it through the crease moving it a little bit more. Remember, hold your brush far down so that you're not wiping the color off. I'm going to do this. And same on the other side, moving that soft brown around just a little bit. Windshield wiper it into the crease. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up Brown Script, which is a red-brown for sure. And I'm just going to take that same brush I used with the soft brown. I'm just going to load a tiny amount of it on. And I'm going to lay it on the bottom of my lid here. Need a little bit more than that. Tap it off. Okay. See how I placed that right there? Just gives a little bit of definition. Same thing on this side. Okay. Now I'm just going to take that fluffy brush, soften that line, run it a little bit towards the center, and then flare it out a little. Same on this side. I'm going in a little bit and then flaring it out and up a little. Never down, peeps. Never down. Okay. Okay, so now I am going to just take a pencil, I mean a tight dome brush. No, I don't like that one. Wait a minute. We'll use this one. A tight dome brush, and I'm going to go in with... Okay, peeps, I'm back. My camera, the HD thingy, filled up. So, I was just in the middle of telling you that I'm going to go in with brown script now. <laughs> okay, we're going to take our pencil brush. We're going to go in with brown script. All these shadows are from MAC, by the way. And it's just a nice red-brown, and I'm going to just put some on the pencil brush, the tip. 
I'm going to tap it off and I'm going to just apply it right in my crease area here and I'm going to lightly bring that across just like that okay and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and this is just to give me a little bit of depth in that area because my eyes are drooping okay so right there in the crease see I see what I'm doing here okay and it just gives you a little definition there I'm gonna to have to do a little bit more on the other side okay and same thing on the other side because I'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush and blend it all down and I'm just going to put a little bit just on the edge here on both eyes. Okay, so that's what it looks like before we blend it in. I'm going to go with my little fluffy brush. And I'm going to blend that down. I can do that looking here. And I'm going to just feather it lightly. And I'm going to bring it close to the inside of my eye, facing my nose. And just a little bit down there, blend it out. Do windshield washer. Okay, same thing on the other eye. We're gonna blend it in. Fluff it around here. Gives you a little bit of lift as well as a little contouring in that area. softening that line. Let me check it. Okay. Now I'm going to take I'm going to take a little bit of bamboo over that, the color we started with first. And I'm just going to softly blend that a little bit of that over just to soften all the lines. And then I'm going to take a clean fluffy a clean little fluffy guy. Do I have one? Yes, here he is. He's a bigger black guy. And make sure there's nothing on him. And I always use the uh, black haired fluffy one for my final blending. Always. Because it's just a little bit, it's fluffier, it's softer. And I want to just lightly distribute those colors. Okay, so now I'm going to just take that brush, the, the flat brush that we use, and I'm going to put a little bit of that brown script on there, touch it on the back of my hand because I don't want too much of that color, and I'm just going to do the outer edge of my eye here and then run it a little bit across, not all the way because I'm just going to take the fluffy brush and do it. Same thing on this side, blending it up, and then I'm going to take that, the little black furry guy again, and I'm going to soften it out all the way. Okay? Okay, so now I'm going to do my tight lining, and because everyone loves to see this online, I mean on camera, <laughs> I think it's gross to look at. I, that's just my personal opinion of it, and that's why I don't like to do it, because I don't like to see other people doing it. I'm looking for my pencil here. I'm just going to use uh, Teddy by MAC, and I'm going to do my waterline. And Well, I'm not going to do my water. I'm going to do my tight line first. Now, with the tight line, it's not really about filling in that line. It's really I mean, you do fill in that line, but you want to make sure that you're getting those lashes right on the edge of the lashes. So I always make sure that I can feel my lashes moving. Always. And I'm going to let you see the difference it makes when it is done. Okay, you can see by looking, of course my eye gets red doing this, but you can see that it adds bulk to the bottom of your lashes. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. Make sure you're ruffling the feathers, the lashes. 
and I get every single one and then I make sure that I go close to the line here getting all those baby ones okay I gotta get closer on this side my eyes water when I do this okay so that's that and then I'm just gonna take my um, it's a very pale pink by Makeup Forever and I love it for the waterline. I also bought the uh, Chanel, it's called Barrel, I believe. It's their light lilac. I saw Lisa Elridge using it in a video. Usually I always use a light bronze, this light pink, or a light fleshy. This is more a flesh tone, it's not really pink. Because um, we, we don't uh, want to look like we have pink eye. But uh, this one's really nice because it just gives you that open eye look when you're putting, gives you a fresh look. But the lilac makes the eye whites, because you know, as we age, another thing that happens is we don't really have crystal clear whites anymore of our eyes. Some of it's, sometimes we look yellow, but we're bloodshot. Age shows in every part of your face. And that brightness that we had in our eyes, you see it when you look into a child. You see the brightness in the eyes. We don't have that when we age, and there's no cosmetic surgery for that, I don't think. <laughs> okay, so uh, I was going to wear a red lipstick, but I might even do it. Let's just do it on camera, see how it looks, and if I don't like it when I go to put my mascara on, I'll change my lipstick. But I'm going to put this on. I, just, I bought this by Laura Mercier. This is a beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful orange coral type of red. And I really, really loved this it. This one is Warm Poppy. And I really think it's, it's beautiful. So we'll just do this for my look today. Okay? And now, if you have a thin bottom lip, because that happens with age, um, just pull your lips slightly and do your line, and you can extend your lips slightly with a more natural look. I know my bottom lip used to be uh, much fuller. Much fuller. <laughs> Oh, I remember when my stomach was flatter and my lips were fuller. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do the line that is part of my lip. I'm not going to do outside because I have lines underneath and um, it'll just run into them. Okay. And I do have several of the wax pencils. I do use that usually, but when I'm wearing mineral powder, I don't like to wear those because I think it I see it. Maybe it's because I'm looking in a 10 time mirror. Anyway, let's get on with it. I'm just looking to make sure I hit the record button. Let's. I just lightly feather it a little bit on the inner. Now I'm going to do the upper. And I'm a little lower on this side, so I have to make it join this side. I use my peaks, but I do round them. I don't do them as sharp as they are. Normally with this look, I would wear just a, a peachy toned lipstick, but I need a little color. Just need a little color. Okay, so I'm going to put this on. Now this I just bought too from Laura Mercier. And this is Roman Moon. It is so gorgeous. Oh, I just love it. Mm. Okay, let's put some on and see if you love it. <laughs> One thing when you're wearing red lipstick, you really do have to keep your lips conditioned. And I really rub red lipstick together. And I usually blot it down, so I'll do that when I go to do my mascara. And then I'll come back and do highlighter for you, okay? And if I don't like this lipstick once I put my mascara, I'll be coming back with a different lipstick on, peeps. Okay, I'll be right back. Stay with me. 
Okay, I'm back, peeps. I have put my uh, mascara on. I have I put on Giorgio Armani's Eyes to Kill in Black. I bought it. I have it. I'm using it up. You know I prefer brown mascara, but, um, you know, black's okay, too. Okay, so now I'm just going to add just a little bit of highlighter, and I'm not going to add it in the usual place. This is Laura Mercier's Secret Brightening Powder. I am just going to take a bit of it on this. I love this Real Technique brush for this purpose. I'm going to take it and just pounce it into the lid. I didn't really put it in there. Tapping it off really well. Okay, then I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to pounce it where my eye bags, not right underneath my eyes, I'm bringing it just right here just to give a little bit of highlight to accentuate that to try to take away from the puffiness of my eyes. Okay? So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye, just what's in the lid. I'm pouncing it in, tapping it off, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other. Go right up and all the way, and that is where I add uh, the Secret Brightening Powder. You can go all the way up under your eye. I'll show you that. It really does not add a cakiness or anything else. You can also use this right on the tip of your nose. You can use it right here in the middle of your forehead. You can use it before you put your makeup on, uh, your lipstick on, on the Cupid's bow. You can also use it on your chin. Anywhere you want hi secret highlighting. Okay peeps, so that's the final look. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, this is pretty much what I wear on a daily basis. Um, the lipstick is always very, uh, it's more peach coral, but I'm sick and tired of those colors, so I'm just adding a little bit of color, a little pop of color. Okay, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. It's an anti-ager. Leave all your comments below. I love hearing from you. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful. Be soon, my friends. Love you guys.